Yeah, I do have a couple things I wanted to show you guys. Uh, right here, this is one of them. Uh, company just contacted us, uh, Briero, and uh, they wanted to see if we would show and try out their diesel heater in, you know, in our channel and go to do some camping with it. Absolutely. I just happen to know a little bit about diesel heaters. I have two more at home. I've got one as, you know, sort of a permanent, you know, you put it in and so I've got it modified to be, you know, uh, portable. The other one is a suitcase version. It's, you know, really portable, portable. It's a suitcase, <laughs> you know, all, it opens and, you know, all the stuff's inside, you know, the hoses and uh, this one can be both. This is, I've got it set up to be more of a portable. I whipped up a couple, just a couple boards for legs and put a longer made the wire longer it's about all i've done to it really about the only thing i've modified uh i brought my longer uh exhaust hose it comes with one but mine's a little bit longer and i have a i have a uh, an idea of where i want to set it up to vent the exhaust gas uh th these are really handy they've been around for a while uh they're not really expensive it's a real good option as far as when you're camping in colder weather uh they work really well <laughs> they really do you'd be surprised at how much heat one of these things can put out they, they generally i won't get too technical but they come in a two kilowatt five kilowatt and an eight kilowatt this one is an eight um they're only claiming about twenty thousand btus uh, you know, 5,000 to 20,000, but realistically speaking, my other, my two other eight kilowatts, they can, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this can do better than 20. I'll just put it that way. To give you a, a frame of reference, if you buy a little Walmart heater, you know, off the shelf at Walmart, it's going to be about 5,000 BTUs. That's where this one starts. This, they're claiming that this is equal to about four of those little walmart heaters i would guess more like five possibly six of those little walmart heaters but you know either way it should be more it's more going to be more than enough for you know my my tent here uh low i'll be running it on its lowest setting i'm sure uh it's supposed to be yeah we'll say mid 40s something like that it's not going to be real cold but uh you know i just wanted to try it out it'd be a really good a good time to bring it out in the field you have exhaust you have four four intakes on this the air intake for the burn chamber and the exhaust for the burn chamber that's right here now you've got the air intake that it blows the warm air that's right here and it blows the warm air out here into you know your room or whatever and you can use these and a, a, a big u-haul a tractor trailer a tent uh you know obviously a tent uh, uh anything vans trucks name you name it you name it and you can slap this puppy in there in just a few minutes but uh i'll hook it up in a little while and this one has a it's got a little remote you can operate it turn it up and down and all that and digital display readout but uh it's got sensors it comes with you know like i said that's their muffler i'll be using my some of my stuff this is mine that's mine and the wire the rest of it came with it they're, they're really nice and it comes with all the toys and bells and whistles and this one is a little bit smaller it's a little bit lighter and it's a whole lot prettier <laughs> yeah, than most i mean come on you have to admit it looks good it really does but i'm gonna sit him up here in a little while a little bit later but i just thought i'd get it out and show it to you guys and we'll give him his t we'll give him a real test run a little bit later and you know tell you a little bit more about it and i've got got my bed set up and got my table chair got my diesel heater and tv set up all my power stuff you can see how the exhaust comes off and I've got it shooting straight out out the back and I've got it through a smaller pipe and then through the a bigger pipe it's the 
same diameter as the vent pipe is the vent pipe that goes here if you wanted to turn it or something turn the airflow ah that feels good <laughs> yes it does Ooh, that feels really good in here now as far as the wrap up on the Briero diesel heater for those of you who may be curious it did really 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 well I kid you not flawless flawless operation zero problems really easy to use lightweight compact I mean you know seriously all jokes aside it did really good and I've got quite a bit still left in the can so it looks like you know 1.6 gallons running it on low I, I, I had on two for a minute like when i'd go outside and leave the door open just to blast heat it real quick and even on one i had windows open at several points you know just to let some let some air in you know some of the cooler air in so it did spectacularly well um i have zero doubt that you could freezing you know and keep this tent warm easily with this uh like i said i ran it on its lowest possible setting and it gave me zero problems used very little fuel uh I'll, battery capacity i'll touch on the minute it, which i was running a tv never mind i had the tv and the diesel heater on the same battery but it's still it's still like 60 percent, i think hang on oh i don't have my phone right now but anyway here's the exhaust you can see how it goes and i just had it in a pipe and there's another one another pipe inside uh, it's triple walled i just did that you don't necessarily have to do that but i did because i you know it's i didn't want to burn my tent just to be on the safe side you know i've, I've used these in tents before and I've never had a problem. But then again, I've always done something a little bit more elaborate, you know, than usual. So maybe, you know, take that with a grain of salt, you know, err on the caution side. But uh, like I said, you can hook them up several different ways. You can make it like a, a permanent built into like a camper, something like that. You can use it as a portable, uh, just all, all sorts of different ways. Uh, like my uh, the suitcase version that I have it has alligator clips on it when I did this one I plan to use this one you know with so I just put lugs on it and you know about six feet of wire uh, so you know nothing fancy it's regular you know, take 15 amp max is what it says so I went with something fairly decent and you know just kind of taped it I was out of loom I'll loom it pretty later. <laughs> Red 3 8 loom sounds about right, don't it? <laughs> but it did really good. It sure did. But anyway, I, I really liked it. It's, I really did. Very much enjoyed using it. The little remote, I just sit over there. And, you know, if it starts to get cool, you just push the little plus sign. If it, you know, starts to get warm, you push the little minus. <laughs> you can't really get much easier than that now, can you? <laughs> Which it does actually can think of it. It does have a thermostat. I could have used that too. But oh well. <laughs> Next time. Next time. Alright, now ain't really a whole lot taking it down either. All I gotta do is disconnect the one pipe. Like I said, it comes with I think it's an 18, 18 inch pipe that it comes with and I'm using I believe it's a 32 36 inch pipe on mine but you know it's just however you want to use it like I said I put little boards little feet basically I put little feet under it so that I knew I could just quickly connect my exhaust pipe up hook up the battery and hit the power button simple as that you know just within what 60 seconds you know 90 seconds something like that you're you're generating heat and within 10 minutes if i were to put this on high in freezing weather i mean 32 degrees freezing weather right if i were to put that on high 
I'll bet you anything you want to bet in 10 minutes you wouldn't be able to, to stay inside. It would run you out. It would be so hot. Uh, I, that's the kind of horsepower that these things have. You know, they've been around for a long time, I think since the 40s. And, you know, the old military used to use them. Of course, they weren't as fancy, you know, they weren't as fancy as that. <laughs> but, you know. Anyway, I just thought I would mention that, kind of touch base on the on the Briero diesel heater and kind of finish up my review uh, as to what I thought and its specs and how it did. I think it did fantastic. And these are much cheaper than, say, if you were to buy a buddy heater. Uh, if you were to buy a buddy heater, they're only going to last about four hours on the little green tanks. You can get the propane tanks, the 20-pound, like your barbecue grill uses, and use a hose, an adapter and a hose, and you need a filter, too, to do that because the propane that comes in those bottles ain't the same as the propane in the little green bottles. <laughs> it's dirtier, so you have to use a filter. So by the time you get that thing, you're paying quite a bit more quite a bit more than you would have if you bought one of these in the first place it's twice as big it's twice as heavy and it only puts out 5,000 BTUs at maximum now <laughs> you tell me which is a better choice 